Hi, I'm Bob Cohen, Service Training Manager for Evoqua Water Technologies. In this video, we introduce reverse osmosis. You may have heard about reverse osmosis, or RO. Perhaps you have an RO under your kitchen sink. Maybe you have read about desalinization, the use of RO to produce potable water from seawater. In this video, we focus on reverse osmosis use in commercial and industrial applications. RO has become an essential part of water purification systems used in a wide range of facilities. Typical commercial and light industrial applications include research and clinical laboratories, pharmaceutical and cosmetic production, food and beverage production, and microelectronics manufacturing. Industrial uses include boiler feed water treatment, preparation of parts for painting or other coatings, nitrous oxide removal from peaking electrical generators, and wastewater recovery. Municipal uses include desalinization of seawater, improvement of municipal water quality, and gray water reuse. RO systems can be configured to meet a wide range of water use and space requirements. Evoqua can also supply trailer-mounted RO systems to meet temporary needs. What is RO? Simply put, RO is a water purification technology that uses semi-permeable membranes to remove ions from water. In a typical commercial industrial application, feed water, which is the water to be treated, goes into the RO. 75% of the feed water is purified. It flows to the application. And 25% of the water is rejected. It flows to drain. In applications in which water conservation is important, 85% of the feed water is purified. It flows to the application. And 15% of the water is rejected. It flows to drain. To provide a more detailed explanation of how reverse osmosis works, Let's first look at how osmosis works. Suppose you have an unsalty water and salty water separated by a semi-permeable membrane. Unsalty water flows through the semi-permeable membrane to the salty water side. An example of osmosis in nature is water absorption by plants. Water in the soil is unsalty and water in the root cell is saltier. The root cell wall is a semi-permeable membrane, and osmosis forces the unsalty water from the soil through the root cell wall into the saltier water in the root cell. In a closed vessel, osmosis is reversed by using a pump to pressurize the salty water. Why do commercial or industrial customers choose RO for water purification? RO systems are relatively simple to operate, Hazardous chemicals are not required, and wastewater treatment is not required. If the dissolved solid levels in the water supply is greater than 250 milligrams per liter, an RO system is less expensive to operate than a deionization system. If the dissolved solids level in the water supply is between 150 and 250 milligrams per liter, enhanced water recovery systems may make an RO system less expensive to operate than a deionization system. Like all technologies, RO has some disadvantages. RO is susceptible to plugging or fouling by suspended solids, organics, and bacteria. Additional treatment, such as continuous electric deionization, is often needed to meet water purity requirements. Oxygen and carbon dioxide readily pass through RO membranes. I hope you've enjoyed our introduction to reverse osmosis. Thanks for watching. For more information on reverse osmosis and other water technologies, I invite you to visit our website at www.evoqua.com.